Hello friends, welcome to my channel The Woolly Hugs. I am Vidisha and in today's tutorial we are going to uh, make this super cute kids one piece comfy cardigan and this tutorial is for size 3 to 4 years but it can be made from 1 to 13 years and you can find a link to the pattern in the description box below and if you enjoy this video, if you like it, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are notified of my future tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. For this project, I am using acrylic yarn. This is 100% acrylic yarn and it's a worsted weight yarn. A measuring tape. Scissor. Buttons. Buttons, uh, you can use bigger buttons or smaller than these. I have used one inch buttons. Darning needle to weave in your ends as well as sew your sides. And also, I have used two sizes of crochet hook. So, one is 5 mm. This we are going to use for the cuff, the ribbing, and the edging. And 6.5 mm for the body panel. Use 5 mm hook size and we will start with the ribbing of the back panel. So we will chain 7. We will make a slip knot and chain 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And in the second chain from the hook, we will make a single crochet. So this is 1 and 2. We will make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and all the chains across. So we will have 6 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now we will chain 1 and turn. And now we will work only in the back loops of the uh, single crochets. So this is our first single crochet. So you can see a V here. So we will be inserting the hook in between and taking only on the back loop. We will be working the single crochets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, we will chain 1 and turn and in the back loop only, we will make single crochets, 6 single crochets across. Chain 1, turn in the back loop only single crochets so this we are creating the ribbing of the back panel uh, I'll just show you in a moment uh, how we'll work this um, cardigan it is a one piece cardigan uh, I hate to sew and I usually ruin my cardigan when I sew so I thought it is uh, it is better that I make it in one piece so uh, we will carry on making the ribbing till uh, we reach the width that is 14 inches. So my finished bust size for this uh, child cardigan 3 to 4 years will be uh, 28. So for the back panel uh, the ribbing uh, should measure 14 inches. I will show you how we are going to make the whole body. So. This is the cardigan uh, that I'm using and this is the front side and this is the back side of it. So right now we are working on the ribbing part. So we've started here, we'll work the ribbing and then uh, we'll change the hook size and we'll start the body panel. 
will work till here then we will add stitches for the arms so that we work uh, the body and the arm together and then once we reach here we will uh, place stitch markers for the neck opening and then we will work the rest of the arm the uh, front panel left side of the front panel first and then after completing the first uh, left side of the panel we will go to the right side of the panel and we will complete this and then we will work the ribbing of the front panel the cuffs of the arms and the edging part so this is how we are going to uh, work now I have completed my ribbing part and now we will start our back panel so our back panel uh, for the back panel I've used said stitch uh, which is the pattern that we're going to follow and it's a, a multiple of three it's a just a one row repeat so it's very easy I've also changed my hook size to 6.5 mm now and I'll simply chain one and make single crochets across each row so one on the very first row two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you're simply going to work single crochets across so now I have completed my row of single crochets across and now we are simply going to chain one and turn our work and we'll start our stitch pattern now so in this chain one space we are going to make one half double crochet and a double crochet in the same chain one space you're going to skip the next two stitches and make a single crochet a half double crochet and a double crochet in the same space skip the next two stitches make a single a half double and a double crochet in the same stitch so this is the pattern we are going to follow so here I have completed my first row and now I will show you how we are going to turn our work so I am left with uh, three stitches and I will make a single crochet in the last stitch as the chain one space and I will chain one again and turn my work and I will follow the pattern uh, I'll make a half double crochet in that chain one space and a double crochet in the same space I'll skip two stitches and make a single crochet a half double crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch skip the next two a single a half double and a double so this is the pattern we are going to repeat all throughout and I'll show you <coughs> once I complete uh, this row how we are going to again turn our work so here I have completed two rows of the pattern repeat and now I'll make a single crochet in the last stitch and I'll chain one and turn my work and in the very first chain one space I'll make a half double crochet and a double crochet skip next two a single crochet a half double and a double crochet again you're gonna skip to make a single a half double and a double crochet so this is what we are going to uh, repeat for our back panel and I'll just show you where we are on the cardigan 
Uh, so this is my sample cardigan and we have already worked on our ribbing part and have started the pattern now. So we will continue the pattern uh, similarly till we reach the uh, underarms uh, where we want to uh, start our sleeves. So I'll be working on this pattern and I'll show you how we're going to add sleeves to the back panel in a moment. So here I'm done with the length that I need for my uh, to reach my underarms of the cardigan and now we will chaining for the sleeves. So with the right side facing you and uh, just do not do anything with the working yarn, just leave it as it is. And on the top left in the last chain one space we will attach our new ball of yarn so that we can chain for the left sleeves and you'll start chaining so for my size I chained 27 so you'll have to see um, how many chains uh, you have to make for your size So I'll just start chaining now. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 24, 25, 26, 27 and I'll just fasten this off. So this is the left sleeves. We are going to work on these chains to create our sleeve. And now we'll come back to our working yarn. And we'll chain on this side as well. So we'll chain 27 for this side. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you make sure that your chain should not be too tight because you need to work your stitches on these chains. So here is my 27th chain. So now we have 27 for the right arm and we will chain one more as a turning chain. And our work and we'll make a half double crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next two and make a single, a half double and and double in the same stitch. So we will simply continue this pattern for the right sleeve, the back panel and the left sleeve. So it's a very simple one row repeat pattern and once I I'm done with my right sleeves. I'll work on the back panel and the left. And once I reach there, I'll show you how we are going to work across. So I have reached the end of my left arm. And I'm left with three stitches. So I'll skip the next two and make a single crochet in the last stitch. like so. So now we have worked our left arm, the back panel and the right arm and we'll continue uh, working like this. Now we'll turn and make a half double 
in the very first chain one space and a double in the same space skip the next two make a single a half double and a double crochet skip two make a single a half double and a double crochet in the same stitch so this is what we are going to do and now we will be working uh, on our back panel and both sides of the arms simultaneously. This is how it's going to look once you reach at this point and we'll work further for the back panel and we'll cover half the width of the arms. And after we work for that length, I will put stitch markers and for the neck. So here I have worked the rest of the length of my back panel and the half width of the sleeves. And I am now... Uh, I have put stitch markers for the neck opening here and I have put the stitch marker for the size 3 to 4 years I have put the stitch marker on the 40th stitch from both the arm ends and I have left around 21 stitches uh, for the neck opening and now we will be working for our half the width of our arm and the front right panel so we will continue with our stitches till uh, we reach to the point where the stitch marker is we will not work on the stitch marker so this is going to be the 39th stitch we will chain one we will turn our work and we will work on our second row and on the third row, we will increase by three stitches when we'll come back towards the neck so that the shape of our V neck starts. stitch marker is and I'm left with two stitches I'll skip those two and make a single crochet on the last stitch and chain one so we'll not be working after the stitch marker we'll only be working for our front right and the arms right arm I'll turn my work a little space constraint here <laughs> And I'll make a half double crochet in that chain one space and a double crochet in the same space. Skip two, make a single, a half double and a double in the same stitch. So we'll continue with the pattern till we reach towards the end of our sleeves and we'll simply chain one here, turn our work, repeat the pattern and work towards our neck once we reach at this point I'll show you how we are going to increase the neck with three stitches so here I have worked uh, on my third row and I'm back towards my neck and in row three we will increase stitches uh, so we'll increase three stitches on this row so I'm on my last three stitch so I'll make up, I'll skip the two and in the last stitch I'll make a single crochet, <clears throat> a half double and a double and I'll 
make a single crochet as well I'll chain one and turn my work and I'll make a half double crochet in the first stitch and a double crochet in the same stitch skip the next two and a single crochet a half double and a double crochet so um, we worked our row one here and from stitch marker we turned and worked back on row 2 there was no increase on row 1 and 2 and then we turned and came back here towards our neck and we increased by 3 stitches so till here I had 39 stitches and I increased 3 stitches here in row 3 I have now 42 stitches and this row 4 I simply worked row 4 and now I am in row 5 I came back I will not increase in row 5 as well I will simply skip 2 stitches and make a single crochet in the last I will chain 1 and I will turn my work now I will work in on row 6 so row 6 simply I will work along the pattern to the edge of the arm and row 7 I will chain 1 and I will come back and we will increase on row 7 uh, when we are towards our neck so I will simply work here my row 6 and I will come back on row 7 and I will show on row 7 how we are going to increase once again so here I have reached the end of my row 7 and we will increase by 3 stitches in this row so I am left with the uh, last 3 stitches so skip 2 and in the last stitch I will make a single crochet a half double crochet a double crochet cluster and a single crochet again so here I increased again with 3 more stitches chain 1 turn my work And I'll make a half double crochet and a double crochet in the first stitch I'll skip this two and I'll make a single crochet a half double crochet and a double crochet in the next so this is row 8 I started row 8 and I'll simply work row 8 9 and 10 without any increases so in the 11th row again we will increase on the next side by 3 more stitches so row tw uh, 12 will in simply uh, chain 1 and half double crochet in the first stitch and make a double crochet in the same stitch we will skip 2 single crochet in the next half double crochet and a double crochet skip 2 single crochet in the next half double crochet and double crochet so simply you will follow the pattern for row 12 and once we reach the arm end we will fasten off our yarn because we have worked a total 20 for this a total 24 rows for our sleeves so I worked 12 rows uh, for half the width of the arm and then 12 more as 12 more so 24 rows is my um, with now I'll stop working on the arm and continue working on the front panel so uh, you can see here that our neck is forming so this is going to be our V neck and now we'll stop working on the arms on this row after completing this 12th row and we'll only work on the body panel so once I complete my 12th row and fasten off I'll show you how we'll join our yarn and till which stitch we are going to work 
so uh, I have worked my 12 through and I have fastened off and I had 27 stitches for my arms so uh, from the end of my arm I have counted 27 stitches this is my 27th stitch and I will join my yarn on the 27th stitch and I'll simply chain one and I'll now again make a half double crochet in the same stitch and a double crochet I'll skip these two I'll make a single a half double and a double crochet single half double and a double crochet so I will continue my work and now uh, we'll just follow the pattern there is no increase on any side we'll simply complete our front panel so uh, so uh, we worked 20 rows uh, this side before we started our arm so again now we have stopped working on the arm so we will be working 20 rows this way only following the pattern not increasing anywhere and we'll continue working for further 20 rows once I'm done with the 20 rows I'll show you how we'll move further so this is we are making our front right panel so, so here I have worked my 20 rows and we started from here and I kept on working for the rest of my 20 rows and 19 rows I worked in the pattern followed the pattern and for the 20th row we I'll, I made a single crochet row if you remember when we started the back panel we first made a single crochet row and then we started our pattern so for 19 rows you will work similarly and follow the pattern and for the 20th row you will make a single crochet and then I have changed my hook size because now we will be making the ribbing for the front right panel so I'll simply change my hook size and I'll chain one two three four five six seven and the way we uh, made our ribbing uh, on our back panel we'll simply single crochet in the second chain from the hook so we'll have six single crochets three four five and six single so six and then in the next stitch we'll make a slip stitch and again in the next we'll make a slip stitch then we'll turn our work and count your six stitches from here one two three four five six in the sixth stitch back loop only you will work a single crochet one two three and all the stitches along you'll make a single crochet in the back loops only you should have six single crochets chain one turn your work single crochets in the six stitches so first stitch one two three four five six 
and then again you'll slip stitch in the next stitch slip stitch in the next turn your work and make single crochets in the back loop for six stitches so you will repeat this pattern till you have reached the edge so I have 21 stitches so I'll be making 21 rows of this and this is how our ribbing is going to work so once I complete this I will show you that how our cardigan is looking now so this is where we are and so this is our neck and once I complete my ribbing I'll again attach my yarn here and work in a similar fashion on this side as well so I'll work on the sleeves and on the neck and I'll increase by three stitches uh, on the third seventh and eleventh row and then once my width of the arm which is 12 and again 12 total 24 once I am done with the arm I'll stop working on the arm uh, sleeves and work only on the front panel for 19 stitches I will repeat the pattern 20th stitch I'll make a single crochet and then again I'll chain 7 work 6 single crochets on the back loop only for 21 rows and complete my ribbing part so here I've completed my right side of the sorry left side of the panel and I've worked my ribbing and I also did the cuffs for the sleeve so I'll show you in a moment how we are going to do similarly on this side so now we will start working on the cuff of our sleeves so with the right side facing you and top left corner of your sleeve this is your sleeve here we'll attach our yarn in the corner stitch I like to tie the yarn so like so and then we'll just we'll chain one and we'll make single crochets along the edge of our sleeves so we had total 24 rows in our sleeves so we'll make 24 single crochets on the edge so one two three Four, five, six, seven. So, like so, and I'll meet you in the end once I'm done with my twenty four single crochets. <clears throat> so, here I've completed my twenty four single crochets. And what I'll do is now I will turn my work and I'll simply uh, the way uh, we did our ribbing uh, on our front panel and back panel will simply chain seven three four five six seven and on the second chain from the hook I'll make a single crochet one and across two three four five 
and six like so and in the next stitch I will make a slip stitch to finish this row and again in the next stitch I'll make another slip stitch to start the second row I'll turn my work and now in the back loops only of the first stitch here if you have any confusion on which stitch to go you can count from this side one two three four five six and in this stitch in the back loop we'll make a single crochet so we will again have six single crochets across I'll chain one, turn your work, go back, making single crochets in the back loop, one, two, three, four, five, and six you'll again make a slip stitch in the first stitch and slip stitch in the next turn your work and make single crochets in the back loop so this is how we are going to complete the cuff of our sleeves so with the wrong side uh, facing you <coughs> I will just line up my both the sleeves end and back and front panel and I prefer to use stitch markers so that uh, while I'm sewing I'm going the right stitches especially on in the side so I'll put a stitch marker here And I'll put one stitch marker on this side. Like so. And <clears throat> I'll start working from the cuff. So I haven't weaved in my end. You can weave and be before you start sewing I'll just grab the tail. So in the first stitch here I this is the V I have uh, I'll take both the stitches from the cuff and sew it and I like to go here twice just to be sure and then we will go in all the stitches together so If you're comfortable using your hook to uh, seam the sides, you can use your hook. I am more comfortable with the needle. So this is how you're going to seam the entire piece together. I'm also weaving in my tail end here so that is what this is so 
so here is how it's going to look so you'll work across till you reach here and then you'll come down and seam in your fronts till here so once you've done that we will start with our edging and I'll show you how you are going to uh, create our edging and make our uh, buttonholes and attach I've, our buttons uh, seam my sides and I am now on the right side so now I'll show you how we'll make our edging so with the right side facing you and in the corner of your uh, ribbing of your right panel you will work single crochets along the edge for the entire panel so you'll make six single crochets here and we worked 20 rows here so 20 single crochets here on the neck we worked for 12 rows so 12 here 21 we left for the neck opening so 21 here and similarly on that side so just attach your yarn on this side and start working a row, row of single crochet all across so I'll simply attach my yarn on this corner I'm tying a knot and I'll chain one and I'll make single crochet along the edge one single crochet per row So you know the count and just make single crochets along and to the next corner on the ribbing then we'll again chain one and make another row back of single crochets till we reach here. So once you are done with that I'll show you how we are going to make our buttonholes. So here I have worked a uh, first row of my single crochet along the edge and now I'm on the other end I'll simply chain one and I'll make one more row of single crochet uh, around so because I'm using uh, bigger buttons I will be making three rows sorry two rows and on the third row I'll make the buttonhole so this is the size of my buttons so I'll make uh, two rows and then I'll make uh, the buttonholes if you're using smaller than this then you can make the buttonholes on this row only so I'll show how we are going to make the buttonholes in our next row so I'm simply making one more row of single crochets along the edge so once I complete this I'll show you on the third row how I'm going to create my buttonholes so continue making single crochets along the edge for our edging like so So here I've completed my second row of single crochets and now I'll show you how we are going to make the buttonholes. So I've placed my buttons where I want them to be and so this uh, here I have placed a stitch marker so that I know where I want my button to be and I've left two stitches for the button and then six stitches in between my buttons. So every button I have six stitches and two stitches for the uh, this stitch marker and one more stitch for the buttonhole I simply chain one and I'll make one single crochet in the first stitch two and these two are for my buttonholes so I'll just chain two here, skip the these two stitches 
and I'll make a single crochet in the next stitch and then I'll make five more I left six for the gapping and I leave these two for my buttonhole chain two and, in the and next now we will make again six single crochets made my buttonholes I went across till this end and I came back here and now I'll show you how I'm going to work above my buttonholes so, so here is my buttonhole so I'll just make a single crochet on the single on top of the single crochet and here I'll make two single crochets and I'll work single crochet on top of each single crochet here and again I'm, I've reached the buttonhole so I will make two single crochets like so and I'll continue with my work till the end and then I'll fasten off we did one more row so now I'll show you how we are going to attach our buttons so I have this button hole after three stitches so on this side as well after three stitches one two three here is going to be my button so I am using these buttons and so make sure that the yarn that you're using and the needle is going through your buttonholes now I'll go back it's a little tight and I'm just going to tie a knot at the back like so and if you want you can just cut it off or uh, weave in this is how we are going to uh, attach our buttons this is how it looks and I'll just show you in a second so here I am done with all my buttons attached so this is how the cardigan is looking it's super cute and if you want you can attach um, more buttons or less you can find sizes from 1 year to 13 years in the description box below I'll provide a link and also for the adult sizes the link is in the, in the description box and if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell button thank you for watching